The ExoMars mission blasted off seven months ago aboard a Russian rocket from Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Its primary aim on the Red Planet is to search for signs of past and present life by examining trace gases such as methane. Scientists believe that methane, a chemical strongly linked to life on Earth, could stem from microorganisms that either became extinct millions of years ago or are still alive. By going there with our new trace gas orbiter, we can hope to try to measure where it's coming from, see how it changes during the seasons, see where it's coming from on the surface. And hopefully we can tell the difference between it coming from just sort of boring geology, where rocks get changed in the presence of water under the surface, or the more exciting possibility, life. Schiaparelli is Europe's second attempt to land on Mars after a failed mission by the British landing craft Beagle 2 in 2003. Once its supersonic parachute opens, a front shield falls away and a radar system starts monitoring the spacecraft's altitude above the ground. Then the parachute and rear shield are jettisoned, allowing Schiaparelli's propulsion systems to ignite and bring the craft down safely, cushioned by a crushable structure. Until now, only the Americans have succeeded in operating on Mars. NASA has two functioning rovers. Opportunity has been there since 2004, while Curiosity has been working since 2012, both searching for signs of life on the Red Planet, most notably water. Europe and Russia's program is a two-part mission. The second delay till 2020 will deliver a European rover to the Martian surface, a rover capable of drilling into the ground and collecting samples for analysis.